What's up, everybody? I spare what a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we started work on the hangar, which is coming along quite nicely. I actually like it a lot. It's looking really cool. We're definitely veering into Death Star territory, not gonna lie. Um, now, one thing... Oh, and I got the... Uh, we broke the bridge at the end of the last episode, but I got it working again, which is so cool. It's just so freaking awesome. Um, I put the timer block way down here. Like, way out of the way. I wish the collision box was that small. That would be amazing. It's not, though. Uh, I'll probably end up moving it at some point, maybe. I'm not sure. It'll just depend on how well everything works. Um, as to the width of the bridge, I think I'm going to keep it this wide. Let's extend it again. I mean, that's pretty wide. I don't really foresee that we'll need to do anything bigger than that for a hangar door. Uh, we might need a little bit more room if we're wanting to, like, store something on the sides, but I mean, I don't think we'll actually have a problem with this. Now, there is one other thing uh, to this, and that is, um, I don't know if we would need it this long either. Gosh, that freak out. I think this is the nine block long, which is kind of crazy. I don't mind the length, but I kind of want it to be both sides. So for now, what I want to do is work on the actual walkway. And we'll get, we'll get back around to uh, the rest of it later. So, do I still have the T-junction set up somewhere? I don't think I do. I don't think I'm going to actually end up using these airlocks, the original ones, so let's get rid of that. Um, and I'm going to need... At least that, maybe a cross, and maybe a corner. Not too sure on all that. Uh, we'll probably use ramps and stuff later, too. Um, actually, for example, like right here, we could use a corner. Because it's not going to be a T-junction. Oops. There we go. That's better. Um, Alright, now let's do this way. No. Where's the singles? Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh, wrong button. We're going to drag this out here for now. Um, on second thought... Hmm... That doesn't look bad, but I'm wondering if an added layer of glass would work better. Let's try that, actually. Let's do another single... And we'll do... Where did they go? Corner. Like this. Now, uh, one thing though, we're, um, I didn't really mention it before, but I do intend... Well, no, I guess I kind of did. I do intend... Come on. Um, to switch out these bridges for shorter ones. And what I mean by that is, like, if this is a 9, then we need, like, one... Well... Hmm... Hmm... Interesting. I have a theory on this. Let's see if I can do what I want to... Oh, wait, and I have some blocks that I'm not using in here, too. Like that. So, actually, tell you what, let's clear up our hotbar here and make this a bit more cohesive. Now, what does the retractable bridge do? This is all essentially Death Star block, so tell you what, let's do this. We're going to use the NM block first. Then we're going to use the bridge... Let's just keep it at the 9s for now. We might change it, though, 
if this doesn't work. And then we're going to need straight catwalks. Um, where's the end caps? The ends. T across corner. Uh, these are old ones. So I won't be using those. And then we'll do a bridge and then the nine bridge. Yeah, that'll work. And then on this one, let's just clear that out and put the lights there as well as the control panel. That way we can kind of just float between each other or each of the hot bars. So these retractable bridge ones, I don't know why I can't get it to connect to this. So what do these do? I guess they're just a one block. What I was looking for is something that I could put on the end that looked exactly the same. Like on the other end over here. Actually attach it to where it looks like um, they're going to connect. What about the end caps? These don't look the same, do they? Like if I were to put... No, they have a different pattern. I suppose what I could do is put the actual bridge piece under one of these, but then it wouldn't be flush. Alright, well, we can work with it. Um, my plan, though, was either to have them alternate to where... Instead of all going in one direction, like the glass would go one way, the, the solid ones would go the other. I also thought about doing two halves. Um, unfortunately, we're working on... Like, let's see. Let's count this out. If I had another block here... For another bridge going this way... Like, if this block right here was another bridge piece... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, these actually extend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's one less than whatever it says. So, if I needed eight, then I would need two five blocks. Let's test that theory. Let's put one on this end. Like this. And put one... Ah, it won't let me. Why not? How far out are you? Come on. Okay. Let's try one four then. I think this is partially why you see a lot of them with uh, ones where one row will go one way, one row will go another, instead of actually connecting in the middle. It's probably because this isn't going to work very well. I would imagine. So it should be the two that are open? Okay. Alright, so where do you end up? Oh, beautiful! Beautiful! And there's no visible difference at all. Oh, it's so pretty! <laughs> Alright, so that's definitely what we're going to do. Uh, if I could spell. So I need... What do I have here? I have a four. I need the five. And just for the sake of changing things up, I'll probably switch things around. Uh, let's not do that. Let's keep... I'm doing it this way. Um, because... I would like to 
um, have the glass next to the walkway so it's not quite as... Uh, it doesn't blend in quite as much. We're going to lose our thing there. Alright, so you are... Four, eight... One, two... That's the four block, I think. Yeah. And then that one's the five, so that's five. So then I want the four over here. And then we'll switch and put the five here. Uh, we'll put the five here. Actually, ugh, no. Before we do this, remind me, this one's four, this one's five. I know, remind me. I'm gonna get a lot of comments about that. I'm reminding you! Alright, um, let's do... Come on. Behave. This way. And where's my straight ones? I can never tell these apart. There we go. Alright, and let's just bring these out. I don't know. That'll work. And, okay, so this is the four. And then this is the five. Thanks for reminding me. Which means this should be the four again. There we go. Okay. Now, this one should be... Wait. Yeah. This one should be five. That one I already probably put five. And just to make sure... I think I got that right already. We'll do that. Now, the same thing kind of needs to happen with the glass ones also. But, so this is... Wait a minute. This is five, four, and four. Right. And this is five, four, and five. So, let's get... The fours out of the way. I'm gonna try and alternate them. So this is five... Four, no, four, five... Let's do four, five, five, four. See how that looks. I think we'll try that. Which would make this five, five, four, four. I don't really know why I did all of them one way and had to go reselect them again. That was kind of dumb. But whatever. Alright. Now, before we do all that, let's go ahead and finish off our walkway here. Which should go something like this. And... Cap. Oh! And I did forget we need a walkway maybe here. So I'll need a T-junction, which is five, to go like this. And just because I have no idea what we're going to be doing, probably need the same thing, so... Where are we at here? 11? Oh, I couldn't have done that any better if I tried, because that means... Um... Seven? No. Six. Means six should be the center. <laughs> By the way, that's an interesting catwalk leveling system, isn't it? So we have... let's get rid of this. We don't need all this. 
Gosh, sometimes the collisions on this are just so sketchy. Alright, so five one way, five another. Perfect. Could not have done any better if I wanted to. It's almost like I planned it. Uh, I, I totally did not plan that, though. <laughs> totally not. Alright, I don't know how in terms of width we're doing. We're kind of getting a little wider over here, but... I'm not too worried about that. We'll probably just do lights again on the corner pieces. And I know I'm kind of taking a risk by building all of this and then testing it, but I'm not super worried about it. Like, it looks great. And I'm pretty sure it'll work out okay. Boy, my, f my uh, computer is definitely not happy about all these modded blocks, though. Whew. It's starting to yell at me a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so we'll put lights there. Nope. Um, and just because I have no idea how to do cornering with this design system, we're just going to put lights in the corner. How's that? And then... Put in our Death Star lights. Make it... make it all mood lit. <laughs> mood lighting! But it's a depressing, dark, and scary mood. Hey, I said it was mood lighting. I didn't say it was a good mood. You ever notice that? Everybody always calls it mood lighting, and you're like, well, yeah, but that doesn't necessarily make it good mood li mood lighting, you know? I mean, it can be creepy and ominous, and there's all kinds of mood lighting. <laughs> um, I kind of really like that. Now, of course, I have no clue how to differentiate these in terms of, like, um... In terms of, like, the... Um... Yeah. That! Mm-hmm. You guys know what I'm talking about. Probably not at all. Doing one side and not the other to see how they look when they're extended. Yeah, I don't, don't know how to do that right now. <laughs> Oh crap, I keep hitting this thinking, okay, let's do, you know, never mind. I keep thinking I can access the control panel from there and I can't. Okay, let's just go by bridge and we're going to call these two groups to make it easier on uh, hangar, bridge, group one just to make it easier on the um the button and the timer block so it doesn't have to do a ton of crap and we'll do this hangar bridge group two because apparently if you do more than one group i mean if you do um one group then they won't turn on and off correctly which is weird but whatever Okay, gosh, my menu loads so low, so slow with all of the the mods that I have. Look at this. It's just, it's terrible. Okay, um, let's just do group one. Seriously? <sighs> Why do you do this? It's all the same kind of block. Why can't I open and close them? Oh, whatever. Hold on. Okay, so I just didn't feel like making you guys sit through all that while I loaded all these in. But they're in now. No thanks to the stupid group mechanic. Um, we're just going to get rid of those since I'm not going to use them. Button pedestal, let's name this... Um, hangar bridge control button? And we'll set it to us so that it sets everything up correctly. Okay. I probably can set this to anyone can use. It's just the bridge control, but, you know, whatever. 
Uh, and where is my timer block? Micro hanger. Trigger now. Uh, we'll go ahead and set that, because I'm not worried about it. Alright, moment of truth. Do we have a cool hanger or not? Oh ho ho! We've got a cool hanger! Oh ho ho! We've got a cool hanger! Oh yeah! I am totally okay with this. Oh yeah! I mean, now there is one thing, and that's symmetry, but I just am too lazy. Like, you can see how the bottom, or the right ones have to... Well, I guess it's all even in the long run. They're all symmetrical. Um, it looks a bit weird that the right and left on this one are shorter than the middle. Normally you would have it the other way around, I would think. But, meh, it's whatever. I really don't think I could come up with a better one. Like, this is just awesome. I could just sit here and push the button all day. <laughs> it's so much fun. Um, alright, so next steps. Need to figure out what in the heck we are doing in these areas. Now, oh, ran out of gravity. Um... Now we also have to think about where to park the ships as well. Uh, because obviously if we bring a ship in here, I mean I guess you could just close the hangar bay doors and set it down on top of it. I mean I guess that's a thing you could do. Um, <gasps> ooh, no. I was thinking shelving just now. We're like having a couple layers up doing more of these retractable bridges so that like you could bring them in shut the door and then have another tray basically come out and like set it on top of those but I'm thinking with the actual size of any kind of ship we might build it might be too big to do that now what we could do this is one interesting idea is make it kind of like we've done with the rest of the ship well, I shouldn't say the rest of the ship, because we really only have the flipping in the one room. We don't actually have it flipping in both of these rooms. But in in this, what we could do is basically build this way. That the ceiling is the dock, where you lock down the, the ceiling and connect to connectors and all that stuff. So that essentially... When you're, when you're flying in, you would get like this, and then fly this way, and then dock with the, the connectors and landing clamps and all that kind of stuff. And then once you're actually locked in, then you could just retract the, uh, the door. It's one theory. It would go well with the whole flip of the ship thing. Flip of the ship. And so on. What does that sound? Sounds like one of them's stuck. That's weird. Wasn't me, I didn't do it. Um, I mean, they all work fine. They're not like... They're not like... Freaking out or anything. But this one... One of these is still sounding like it's making noise. Weird. It's like I can't fully retract. Help me. Um, gosh, is it just me or do you like... Uh, to me, I kind of want to like overhaul the whole floor and go, <laughs> go back and put this Death Star plating everywhere. This stuff is amazing looking. Um, I love it. Truth be told, let me know what you guys think about that. If you'd like to take this design, this floor pattern type of thing, and try and mesh it back over here, or if this is more of the industrial, like, brr, factory, messy, circuitry, you know, kind of thing, not as sleek and clean. I totally forgot about these walls. These walls are going to go really well with this. Let's test that out. Totally forgot about, like, completely blanked on, <laughs> on that even being a thing. Um... What we could do is let's place a block here. 
just to give us something to build on. Wait a minute! You can color these blocks too? Is that a thing? Is that really a thing? Maybe? <gasps> you can! Now, personally, for me, I kind of like this because the border seems to match this. So I think we're going to leave it at the default gray instead of changing them. But, oh, look at this, though! Look at this! My keyboard's hung up. There we go. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is going to be cool. This is like my favorite ship ever. Unfortunately, my computer won't be able to run it for much longer. <laughs> it's going to run out of go-go uh, juice here in a little bit. Um, I suppose we could use full blocks. They're not any... Yeah, let's go ahead and use full blocks. They're not any cheaper to do it this way anyway. Oh, I did not realize I deleted that one NM block. Yeah, that'll... Yeah, that's better. That'll be easier to work with. Now, in the interest of sheer cost efficiency, we could put either... We could put a standard armored block or one of these right there and then continue to build like this because you're not going to notice anything. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll do this. Um... Huh. Interesting predicament. Just because I don't know exactly where we're going with this, let's go ahead and put that there. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put another block under these. Just because I don't really know what we're going to be doing with it. Okay that out. Is there any blocks? I can get rid of these bridges, probably. Okay. That way I can switch back and forth. That's better. I like to try and keep my hotbars uh, kind of the same. Oh, I didn't even think about paint. We'll have to repaint that. It's weird, that one, um, that one block that keeps making noise is kind of bugging me. But, like, I'm not really worried about it, but it is kind of annoying, and it's, it's just weird that it's like there's nothing else going on over there. So I don't know why it's still making noise. Uh, for some reason I just decided to fly very high. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I love these walls with this floor. That is... that is... Oh, I'm feeling that. That is looking awesome! Not to mention the lighting here works works cool, too. Um, works cool? Whatever, leave me alone. Uh, one thing that I'm curious about, now that we actually have a wall here, is what would happen if you put it that. Tell you what, let's do one wall this way. We do run into a problem with the floor pattern and the corners. I mean, we can't do the walls on the... We can't do these lights on the corner parts of the wall. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you prefer the floor lighting? I personally think I do. That's just me, but I personally think I prefer the floor lighting. Over the, uh... What I'm going to dub the wall lighting. I guess. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Which way you prefer the lights and stuff like that. I suppose we could put a different kind of light 
in the corners if we were going to keep it this way. But that, I don't know. This It makes this look a little plain, and it also makes the wall look a little busy, whereas this is like the wall's very streamlined with the... F yeah. I'm... Yeah. You can let me know if you prefer it the other way, but I think I'm just going to keep it on the floor for now. Oops. How about this? Let's just do it that way. There we go. Yeah, I personally think I like that better. So. Oh, yeah. The hangar is coming along quite nicely. I don't know about that. I don't know how the heck the exterior of this ship is going to look, but the interior is looking freaking cool to me. So anyways, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode here. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.